The letters page is a literary journal that we publish in the School of English. Um, it's a project that students were involved in working on. Um, and in some ways it's a typical literary journal in that it publishes stories, poems, essays, um, reportage, memoir. But all of the submissions for the journal come in the form of handwritten letters and they have to be sent in the post. And partly that's because I'm really interested in exploring the form of the letter now that it's effectively died out as a, as a kind of uh, viable form. Um, partly because it's a way of almost tricking people into writing something interesting. Um, we, we, we tend to find that because people are not familiar with writing letters on the whole, they, they write with a slightly different part of their brain engaged. And we tend to get, I think, more interesting the work than we would otherwise. How do you decide which letters go in and which don't? That is sometimes a difficult choice. Um, sometimes it's fairly straightforward. Uh, it's something that it's, it's, that's the part of the process that it's really good to get students involved with because it's a way of making them really think about what makes good writing and, and I'm able to show them quite often what distinguishes a quite interesting piece of writing from a really good, compelling, engaging piece of writing. And, and often it comes down to, do you want to finish the, this letter all the way to the end? You know, that, that's, that's a really valid way of assessing a piece of writing. But the really interesting thing that I find is that we've often published work by people who don't really think of themselves as writers, but because they understand the form of the letter, they've written in a very unselfconscious way. And so we publish work by very high profile writers like Roddy Doyle, like people um, like George Saunders, Kevin Barry, Naomi Alderman, um, you know, really successful writers in their own right. But we've also published work by people who've never had anything published before. and maybe never will again, but I've just, they've wanted to write to us and tell us something about their day or their life. Um, we published a, a letter in the last issue, a woman in Germany was just describing sitting in her garden peeling an orange. And, and if she'd sat down to write a poem about peeling an orange, I think it would have come out much more clumsily, much more self-conscious, but it was a letter and it had this beautiful simplicity about it. What place do you think a journal like this has in this part of the 21st century when there's so much going on in the written and spoken word with the digital platforms we have? I think literary journals like the letters page and like a lot of other small literary journals which have, which have really flourished in the last five or ten years have got a place because they are they're doing the job of curation, which, which in the digital age, everyone's desperate for somebody to curate what, they, what they're going to read, what they're going to um, consume. Um, and, and there are a lot of small press uh, literary journals which are doing a fantastic job of supporting new writers, supporting emerging writers, um, supporting sometimes established writers writing something outside what they normally do. And, and bringing that work to, to an audience. Um, and sometimes that happens online, sometimes it happens in print. Um, but I think it's a really exciting period for, for writers and, and for readers because um, the gatekeeping has shifted. You know, and that's, that's been brought in by, by the internet, by the digital age, but the idea of gatekeeping has, has changed. And so it's not just that you can find interesting writing online, it, it's happening in print, it's happening at live events, um, and, and I'm really excited by the way the letters page fits into that landscape, and by the way that we can encourage our students to see themselves as part of that landscape and, and contribute to, to new writing and to supporting new writing and to reading and engaging with, with that work.